Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com and in this video I'm going to show you 10 legitimate side gigs that pay well for 2018. A lot of these are just websites and places you can go to, different services that have come up in the last uh, couple years that allow you to make a lot of extra money while working very flexible hours, doing something that's not very complicated and doesn't require much experience. So the first thing you might look into is testing stuff. So you can go to usertesting.com and when you go to the home page, it'll look something like this. And what it does is it allows you to test websites, mobile apps, prototypes, and stuff like that. And give your opinion on them, uh, go through different parts and um, look for different things to figure out whether um, they need to change something or what you think about different things as a consumer. So it helps them create a better product, a better service, better website, better app, and you get paid about $30 per hour to do this. So you go to get paid to test when you're on the home page. You, of course, can also read over different things on here um, about some of their customers and what all their um services are but just go to get paid to test up here in the top right corner to sign up you visit the website or app you complete the set of tasks speaking to your thoughts and you know sharing what you think about different things and then you get paid ten dollars for each one of those that you do you get ten dollars for every 20 minute um, test that you do you get paid via PayPal which is very convenient so if you do three per hour, that's $30 per hour. So user testing, they do have a few um, competitors, but they probably have the most traffic of all of them as far as testing websites and apps and stuff like that. So I'd recommend user testing if you're looking just for an easy side gig that pays pretty well. Another one is you can deliver stuff like convenience store stuff. Um, with GoPuff. So GoPuff is a website that's kind of like an Uber or a Lyft or something like that. You have um, fast and free delivery. Um, and, you know, unless you have the flat $1.95 flat delivery, otherwise, if you're maybe farther out or something, um, you have convenience. You, they have warehouses in all these different cities right now. You got Philadelphia, Boston, DC, Austin, Seattle, Chicago, you know, Portland, etc. And you just have, you know, you have your credit card on file with their um, service, and you can get people to deliver convenience store goods to your house. So, in other words, it's like delivering. You know, if you want. You know, a certain drink that you would usually get at the local Walgreens or CVS or something. Or if you want some beer delivered or if you want some, um, maybe you need some certain medicine that's just over the counter. Or you need some kind of, um, you know, toothpaste or something delivered. You can get all that stuff and it's delivered straight to your door. And they hire... Um, drivers to do the delivery so it's kind of part of the sharing economy and stuff like that um, people make money in tips not only getting paid from the company but you also make money from tips of course and um, as far as the shift and things like that you might make you know a quick $35 or something and you might get another $35 in tips for a few deliveries and then you know it, it can really add up so when you break it down you might make 10 to 12 dollars per hour um, which isn't bad just to drive around and deliver stuff and that's it okay so it might actually and it actually might be easier than uber and lyft because you're not dealing with people um, in your car and stuff like that so that's GoPuff. You can go to GoPuff.com to check that out. I'll have all the links to these different services and stuff as well in the um, in the show notes. So, of course, you can sign in to do it. By the way, they also have an app 
that's pretty much how they run this whole thing just like uber and lyft so you can become a driver by going down here and clicking become a driver and then you apply next is you can haul stuff with U-Ship. So this is gonna apply more if you have a truck. If you have a truck, you can uh, apply to work with U-Ship and they have a service that allows you to move stuff from point A to point B for people that needs you know, something uh, larger than just a regular economy car or something. So. If you have a box truck, if you have a pickup, a van, a station wagon, a semi, um, something like that that can haul big loads of stuff, people will want you to uh, deliver stuff for them. So it could be appliances, it could be um, all kinds of commercial freight, uh, boats, furniture, whatever, um, even vehicles. and so you would just become a carrier right here click become a carrier and it'll tell you more about what you can do to apply and stuff like that so you just click here click that on uship.com and you can uh, do some stuff for people and deliver things from point A to point B um, as far as transporting and stuff like that it, it can really save people a lot of money and it helps you uh, just make some extra money kind of like you would an uber or lyft or something like that so that is uship.com next is ad fun ad fun is a service that pays you to watch videos and you can also try it as an app and you basically watch ads for let's say trailers for movies or new products that come out and stuff like that just regular advertisements and things like that and you can earn money from doing that so you also have um, a community on there that you can deal with you have different bidding on tickets and different prizes that you can be a part of you can connect ad fund to a lot of different devices in the same household I think it's up to five or six so you can actually maximize the amount of money you make by just having it on as many devices in your household as possible and some people estimate you know like nine hundred dollars a month or so just from ad fund so you can do all kinds of stuff and um, make money just from literally watching videos and stuff like that next is freelance writing and there is a place that I want to specifically show you if you want to do some writing on the side to make some extra money it is problogger.com slash jobs and you can go through all the different jobs on here but a lot of these are work from home and they are either freelance or contract some of them are even full-time or part-time jobs but you can make money doing all kinds of things some of them might be entertainment blog posts that they're looking for they need ongoing writers maybe they want to establish a relationship with a freelance writer maybe they want just a, a quick job done technical bloggers with programming experience all kinds of stuff so you can look all through here on the problogger.com jobs board I'll have a link in this to in the description um, you'll find the show notes page and it'll be on the show notes page a link directly to this page here another thing is I have an article called 11 websites that will pay you 50 to 700 dollars per blog post so it's a video you can watch it on YouTube or watch it on the website at selfmadesuccess.com or check them out here I have links directly to the pitch pages and the uh, application pages to write for different uh, companies but you have places like Babbel, Just Parents, Parent Company, Stork Guide, Baby Fit, PTO Today, Freelance Mom and stuff like that that pay you between fifty and seven hundred dollars per blog post so that's a great way to make some extra money freelance writing as kind of a side gig so those two places I would recommend you use as resources to find good places to 
uh, do some freelance writing if that's something you're good at and you want to make a side income. Next, you can help some locals with tax, TaskRabbit. TaskRabbit is a service that allows you to do like handyman stuff, um, things like yard work or um, screwing in a light bulb or fixing something or you know um, running errands cleaning stuff like that task rabbit takes care of all that type of stuff usually it's with people that live fairly close to you um, you describe the task you get matched with somebody who can do it they get it done you pay them it's all taken care of through an app so you can make varying amounts of money doing this but you would want to go up here in the top right and click become a tasker and it will take you to the page you push you put your name email password phone zip code into that and it will help you um, determine your rate find jobs that you can do that you feel like you would do a good job at and make scheduled uh, schedule different things that fit you you can also chat with the people hiring you as well different categories handyman cleaning delivery moving furniture assembly personal assistant and stuff like that so um, kind of just local odd jobs and stuff like that you can make money from using task rabbit next you can do some dog sitting with uh, a service called dog vacay you can go to dogvacay.com that's how you spell it right there and it gives people a chance to have somebody watch their dog when they're out of town or when they're going somewhere for a while and you can find dog sitters um, they actually look for people who are actually qualified who would actually be good dog sitters so you you have to go through a little bit of a application type thing but when it comes to finding a sitter they want to have good um, people to do it so you can learn more about what they require you don't want to have things like a criminal record and stuff like that if you're trying to become a dog sitter but if you've never really had any kind of stuff like that um, you know you're willing to create a profile and you know make sure that there's no reason that you couldn't become a good sitter you could go down here to the uh, bottom of the page and click become a sitter under resources and it will tell you more about that so um, what you get and how you can make money it's all taken care of through an app as well so then um, it's pretty much like anything else these days it has an app you pay through the app you find people through the app you chat with the person through the app it's all taken care of through um, stuff like that so um, you can also go to Rover which is kind of like their partner and um, that helps you become a sitter and um, start getting jobs with dog vacay so next is twitch and you can start a twitch channel if you're somebody who's a gamer so if you like to play video games this would be a great way to go and people watch you play games you might show them how to do certain things um, you might show them um, Easter eggs in the game which means something that people wouldn't find ordinarily um, except maybe by total accident um, just help people enjoy video games more watch you if you're really skilled or you might you know show them how to be good at the game you can also do a lot of funny commentary you know PewDiePie like on YouTube started out doing a lot of funny commentary on video games got him very popular turned him into a millionaire you want to look for uh, video games of course that have um, a lot of interest a lot of people are playing them and wanting to watch people play them so look for games that are new that have come out in like the last year maybe or that are frequently updated you have you know things like Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto and um, Battlegrounds and stuff like that Overwatch are some popular ones that I know of just off the top of my head you might look into the most popular uh, video game lists the ones that people download the most and stuff like that but you can create a gaming channel specifically on a website that's 
built for gaming channels instead of going through YouTube where you might make less money. So that is Twitch. And last but not least, we have a place where you can actually rent out your sports gear. So if you like to surf, snowboard, ski, um, biking, stuff like that, then you can use spinlister.com and kind of like an Airbnb or something like that, um, or Turo, which is for cars, you can um, let people use your bikes, surfboards, snowboards, skis, and stuff like that if you're in one of these major cities that they are in right now and just list your ride. And they have insurance, they have um, all kinds of things in place to ensure that you get it back and that they don't mess it up um, and that you get compensated if something does happen. But uh, for the most part, you should be fine. You, you just put in when you're looking to get a ride, if you're the person looking to buy a ride and rent it for a few days or something. But if you're wanting to make money, you would click up here. It says list a ride and put it on there. Surf, snow, or bike is what they are going for right now. You want to put some pictures, some detailed pictures. Um, they show you exactly what size, the title, description, how much you charge per hour, per day, and per week, where it's located, and stuff like that. So you can list your ride and um, get together with people who want to use them and get paid for it. So that's with spinlister.com. And like I said, that's for if you have like snowboards, skis, surfboards, bikes, and stuff like that. So that's it for this video. If you felt like this was helpful, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video, if you want to let me know about uh, something you'd like me to cover in the future, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And also, I'll get the links to all of these pages and related content, all that stuff, on the show notes page at selfmadesuccess.com. I'll get a link in the video description to that for you as well. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you and hope you have a great day.